Welcome back to Dubsy Bricks and another episode of Building Jabba's Palace. And we reached the 1000 mark shortly after the last video, so thank you to all those people that have subscribed to the channel. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get up to date with future content on the channel. Anyway, last week we concentrated on the Sarlacc bit. And really pleased with how that came out. And we also started to do the train along here. So we covered up all of the ugly filler brick and filler plate and put some layers down of the tan plate. Still got a lot more details to go on there. But what I want to do, I'm going to pull out the last few remaining slopes that we've got in the tan and the dark tan. And I want to build some rock formations coming out of here just so we can add a little bit more detail and add a few more stories along there. So let's get those bricks out and let's start building. Here we have our first little rock that we've built. Same style as on the other side, so it's the two tones with the sand light effect at the bottom and then the rock at the top. We will continue building it up and putting more details on the top of it. But what I want to do now is build another rock that comes out a little bit further and comes back again. One thing I do need to do though is make sure that I leave enough bricks to extend this one on the end here by the doorway to or the hangar door because I believe there's a tower on top of that. But yeah, it's going to work out well once we've made up all these rock bits. But it's a case of just getting this much done with the bricks we've got to start with. And we have run out of the dark tan slopes, or at least the three buys and the two buys. So we are going to need to order some more in, unfortunately. But uh, it'll, be, it'll be worth it to make it look all good. But anyway, that's sort of like the new view that you can see down here uh, with the new rock work. As I mentioned before, I'm going to make it so it goes over to the other section. I did peel off this entire rock section and move it closer so the gap between wasn't quite as wide. It looked too big an entry in there. And if I do get some more slopes in, I may very well extend this one as well a little bit more. But uh, really pleased to the, the how it's looking now, sort of like with the extra rock. And I think it certainly has a lot more to this lower section. But uh, yeah, so anyway, let's start. Do a little bit of the sand on here and layer on that out a little bit more and try and make it so it doesn't look as stepped as it is at the moment. Uh, how we do that, I'm not 100% sure, so it's all going to be trial and error. And the postman has just been, and it's another order from lego.com. So we've got two bags here of parts for our mocks. Now, a lot of the parts in here are for our Gotham mock. So like the red bricks here, they were going to be for the fire brigade. However, I've not used... Uh, the masonry bricks on there I haven't needed to I might swap a couple over when I do a little bit of amendment on there but it's good to have those these dark orange bits here are for the containers we're going to have in the docks and we've got the slopes here the dark green for going under the water so that's all good and there's some fireman pieces in it all good stuff like that now just a moment ago I said that I'd run out of slopes for the rock work and these nougat ones were for Jabba's Palace so what I can do I can swap over some of the dark tan ones along that massive face and put in a few more of these nougat ones and that's going to free up some dark tan ones and I can do a little bit more on that rock work and due to the latest delivery of all of our nougat coloured slopes we have replaced a load of the pieces down the end here and uh, changed out a few of the dark tan for the nougat colour so it's a little more consistent the whole way along the mock now but what that has done obviously it's freed up a whole load of pieces for us to continue working on this section here so yeah let's get back to building this bit up and see how much of it we can get done and we've made a right mess typical dubsy bricks just poured all the plates out onto there so much easier than sort of like hunting for a bag for the one particular piece that we need and we've sorted out the front section of here it's not finished yet we're going to put it smooth it off a little bit put some tiles on and some curved slopes and things like that and there's obviously the little cave we've made on there the next thing we want to do is make the bridge that's going to go across here or the rock that's going to sort of like connect these two sections together the only slopes inverted slopes i've got left are these 45 degree ones here which are not going to make it a very interesting pattern on here and obviously want to make it look as detailed as possible on all sides basically so what i'm going to do i'm going to get some snot bricks out i'm going to attach it here build it across and attach it obviously on the other side um, and just see what we come up with so we're going to go and dig the snot bricks out and uh, let's get creative and here we have what we're going to be making our bridge with so as you can see we've used snot bricks which go all the way around the top there and the part that we've used for that are these ones here back to back so it enables us to use all four sides now what we will do we'll put a tile on this bit here and also on one side of the snot brick and then that will just rest on there on it'll be that way around 
on this end we will attach a snot brick and we'll actually clip it onto the surface here on this side where it's resting we will then put another snot brick just to the side of it like so and then we'll put a plate connecting the two and then that hold that all in place so the next thing we need to do is put some plates that connect the snot bricks from end to end and then that's what we're going to be building our slopes on and our putting all our plates and things like that to give as much texture and detail as possible so let's do that part get all this ready and then we'll check back in once we make a little bit of progress on it and here is the bridge section all plated off ready for the slopes to go on and our mini canyon here is all ready for the bridge and here we have the bridge all ready to go as you see we've got the two tiles on this end here and they're going to be resting on there this brick here is for the snot brick so what we do we'll put the snot brick on the top there over this side we've got two areas as well where we're also going to be putting some snot bricks so they just go on there like that and that and now when we clip this into place on this end here that rests on the other tiles and now we can get a two by eight plate here and then that will attach the two snot bricks we just put in to the bridge itself now that's all firmly in place and now what we can do we can just build up some more details all the way around this finish off this section here and then just blend it in a little bit more but yeah really pleased with how that's looking and uh, a lot better than just using the slopes i think and here is our rock formation all completed not very pretty from the back but it's the mainly from the front that's going to be the scenes that we're going to be show shooting from yeah there it is so let's try and go all the way around with the camera excuse the shadows so we'll set a little scene up through there as well so yeah please how that's come out and i'm really liking it from this angle here so you've got the cave there which is all nice and dark but we can put some sort of like scenes in here with like tuscan raiders where they've got a little camp there or whether it's sort of like an ambush of some description but uh, again when you sort of like pan out on here i think it does add a little bit more to the mock and what I'm thinking about doing is some smaller rock formations that are just plates using the dark tan on there as well. But yeah, happy with the progress. And one other area that I'm really wanting to tackle this week is this part here. It would be nice to get it all plated off, ready for all the finer details to go on there. I did go to the Dublin Lego store yesterday because I was totally out of the 2 by filler plate. And there was none on the wall, however... Um, Got talking to Dante in there and he went and found some out of the back. So I had some excellent customer service from Dante. Really nice guy. Nice to chat to. So yeah, thanks Dante. And anyway, now it's time to get the filler brick out, get that new filler plate out and let's build that up and then plate it off. And the first thing we need to do is build this wall up. So what we want to do is get it up to the same height as here and then put a, a plate going across here to connect the two together. That way it's going to add some stability, but also I can put some pillars coming up here which I can put the plate on and then go down from there. So let's do that first. And as you can see, we've done the connections all the way along the edges here, built this wall up just by a couple of bricks. One thing I did just realize is that we've got all the lights down this end of the mock and the cable comes around the back here. And then we've got the lights down this end as well and the cable comes up. Now what I've done, I've connected them to one circuit board, which is just there. And then here is the power supply to it. Plugged it in, all the lights are working, that's good. Now I need somewhere to put the power supply, the box, which is this one here is which I'm using, which is quite big. Now when I did the back cave mock, it was just propped up at the side and it was having to balance because of where it was and just didn't like it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dismantle this section of wall here, take off all those support struts and I'm going to make a little room for the battery panel to sort of like rest in. So we feed this um, plug in there and then there'll be a slide on door on here so we can easily put the battery in once we switch it on, close it up and then it'll be there and we won't see the uh, power supply whilst we're doing the tour around the mock. So let's get dismantling, put that shelf in there, we'll show you what it looks like. And here we have the battery holder so this will literally just slide in like so and then we'll put a tile along here put a small section of wall which we could just slide into place 
and that's the battery all concealed for when the uh, we're doing the videos of the mock so yeah happy how that's come out there is a little bit of um movement on the roof there so we need to be careful when building up on here however i'm sure if i do it right it'll be strong enough and we won't have any problems but anyway let's get back to doing the support works here <music> So after some trial and error, we've got all of the plates all in the right heights. The centre section here, I'm contemplating um, having a plate, that go, one big plate that goes up, this slopes down to here rather than staggering it up. But what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to plate off all of the surrounding area here, get the levels on there. Um, and then have another think about that. Uh, it's not going to be that steep a slope, so whether or not it might just be just as easy to actually put plates on here. But uh, let's get plating, and then we'll come back to this bit in a little while. And there it is, all plated off. So we've got rid of the multicolour brick for multicolour plate. But uh, hey hey, what we we'll do? We'll cover all of this with tan and dark tan plates, tiles, wedge plates, slopes, and things like that, and just do all the effects. And this is the passage that will lead up to the front of the main building that's going to be on there i'm not sure if i've gone high enough on here um what i'm intending on doing is putting a row of tiles on the top of the wall and then having the whole roof section so it can lift off of jabba's palace so it's going to be very modular if we can do that so it might be that i'm a brick too low there and if that's the case then i'll just add more plates on there which is possibly a waste to fill a plate but uh, i wanted to get that section all finished off there obviously we still need to sort out our door bit to go on the front here to sort of like house that part so, so you can't see into the battery compartment but yeah we're really pleased with the progress it took, took a little bit longer than i was anticipating to doing I was hoping to get this section done here, but I'm still working on a design for the stairs because they curve around a little bit. I want to make the wall curve with it. So I've got an idea in mind. So I just need to prototype that. And then uh, if it works, then we'll get that all implemented. And here's our first droid and it's the Gonk droid. So very simple design, very similar to what you'd see like in the uh, Thai bomber set, I suppose. There's very little difference to them. I've obviously put the Technic brick all the way through there so now we can stick him on the pole so we can rotate him upside down and then obviously uh, how it's uh, his feet are being burnt so what we have done is we've got a couple of the trans orange studs um these might cause a bit of a problem because of the angle that the feet are at so we might have to just uh, improvise but it's it looks good enough so it looks like when he's upside down it will look like they're being burnt so we can now put him in the droid torture room we were we have started to make the other two droids in there however we're having a few problems with their with that so um we've, we've got certain pieces but um other ones we're, we're struggling with ideas on there i have looked online for uh inspiration but they're uh yeah it's uh, not that easy to come up with so i think this will be something very similar to what it's going to look like in the end obviously we need to get some legs the white droid legs i don't think they've been in existence for several years now so you might have the wrong color legs unless i can find another way of making him stand up um it's an alternative sort of like uh, piece usage on there so yeah anyway let's uh, go and put the, the uh, gonk droid upside down and see what it looks like and there is gonky upside down with his feet being tortured so we did have to put a one by one round stud on the technic brick on the far side just so it fixed in place on the axle because otherwise he just kept rotating and falling back through but yeah, really pleased with how that room's come out. That's obviously with the lights on in there. And we've got the other droid, as we've previously shown you, with his arm being ripped off. So all we need to do now is get the two torturers in there. And then that room will be pretty much finished. But yeah, happy with how that's come out. And the final thing that we've managed to get done this week is the door for the Rancor Pit. We've managed to get some more brown, dark brown tiles in. They came in that order that I showed you earlier. 
So this is all done now. So all I need to do is put some cheese wedges on the bottom here for the little uh, triangular bits at the bottom of the door which go into the ground. But that's all done and ready to go. So um, I can add those at any stage, so it's not a problem. So this just uh, obviously drops back into this slot here. That's all good to go. Um, so once I've prototyped that bit around there, then that will all be done and we can carry on getting this section done. But it's uh, it's really coming on the mock now. The throne room is, as I said, we've got the wall up high here now. This is pretty much the correct height. And we just carry on working our way round. I'm hoping I've got enough tan bricks. There's a fair few in here, so should be okay. If we do need to order any in, it's not going to be a massive amount. Um, and then obviously what we've got to worry about is the tan plate. I know I'm going to be short on that because I'm already running out. And I've still got to do this entire section here. So uh, it's a pity when I didn't... When I got the filler plate, it wasn't all in tan. And it's one of these things that going forward, if I'm going to be doing mocks of a certain sort of like theme, so say, for example, I was doing Hoth, I'd make sure I got white filler plate in and things like that. So that it uh, causes less problems. I feel like I'm doing everything twice here because obviously I've put this plate down and now I'm going to cover it over with another colour plate. But uh, when I ordered it, I, I would have ordered whatever plate they had and uh, that was all that was available. But uh, hopefully, like I said, Pick a Brick will have some on there soon. And then we can get that section all finished. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content on the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and please share it with your family and friends. Anyway, thanks for popping on by. See you next time. Bye for now.